You know, I pride myself on picking some winners every now and then. Like, you know, I chose to go and get my degree back when degrees were cheap. <laughs> I, I chose to get my master's when master's degrees were cheap. I chose to marry my wife. That was a winner. I chose to move to the area I moved to. That was a winner. The house I live in, another winner. The cars we are currently driving, another winner. I stock market, meh, hit and miss. More wins than losses, but still, let's call it a winner. But I gotta say, I used to have a winner that I picked all the time for all, all of my, all of my pop culture, everything related around one winner, and that was Star Wars. And now that winner is a big, fat, disgusting, bloated, nothing happening loser. And nothing says loser more than the Disney Plus shows after Mandalorian Season 2. And nothing says loser more than what I'm already seeing from this show that they're calling the acolyte and nothing more says loser and nothing screams that this is a loser more than the utter total nonsensical nothing excitement about the figures the figures are getting no love no play i mean think of any Lucasfilm stream, any Star Wars stream that Hasbro has put out. You can go on you can go on Hasbro Pulse right now and you look at the Star Wars streams, they're getting crushed. I mean, they're still getting thousands of views, of course. I think personally that's that's their employees watching <laughs> the streams. They're like forced to watch the streams five times to get the, the pad the numbers or something. But like, there are Transformers streams with hundreds of thousands of views. There are Ghostbusters streams with 30, 40, 50,000 views. Ghostbusters is barely like the shit. It's barely like pop culture, unless you really were into it. Transformers, hundreds of thousands of views. Hundreds of thousands. Like G.I. Joe, Hundreds of thousands of views. The Haslabs, hundreds of thousands of views. And then you have Star Wars. Womp, womp, womp. <laughs> like, yo, what? In what world do they think that these trash concepts work? And even more so, what makes them think that they can just continue to create these characters these whack ass characters the girl boss the mary sue the uh oh they have an asian character so it's gonna be an asian dude that knows like jedi kung fu <laughs> like you know that's what's gonna happen you know that's what's gonna happen they're gonna they already have a sassy black character whose sexuality is ambiguous <laughs> That's what's gonna happen. You know it. You know it. You know it. They have uh, uh, they have the little girl who I'm sure is the Mary Sue of the show. They have the Jedi Master who I'm sure is the most powerful Jedi Master in all of Jedi Masterdom. And like she is the legendary, most powerful Jedi in the history of Jedi uh, isms. And it's like Luke Skywalker. She's gonna accidentally. She's gonna actually spit or pee on Luke Skywalker's tombstone. Meanwhile. <laughs> Meanwhile, you know, but the, the show just, it, when they announced it, I was like, okay, I like the premise. Then I started seeing, sort of hearing rumblings of what the show was going to be about. And I was like, mm, pass. Like, they had me for a second. I try to give, I always try to give Star Wars a chance. I always do. I always try to give them a chance. And then I'm just like, uh, but there's only so many whoopings I could take. And I haven't really purchased any Black Series toys at full price in, 
years, man. If it ain't at Ross or if it ain't at a, a, a Marshall's, TJ Maxx or anything like that, any of those stores, like was it Big Lots? I saw one or two one time. Like if it's not at these kind of stores, I'm not buying these figures. These figures can just they they're they're they might as well just put them directly into the outlet section of a, a Hasbro Pulse because ain't nobody buying these motherfuckers. Ain't nobody buying them. Like unless they're doing like bare minimum runs, nobody's buying these damn things. Like they came up for pre-order. I was just like, do I even post this? Like, does does anyone even care? I surely don't. I'm not giving them my money for this. And on top of that, at least, at least, at least, at least lie to me. Like, make me, make me want to at least try them by like giving them like double jointed elbows and double jointed knees and give them like, make them hyper posable figures. I mean, they're Jedis. I mean, you have an Asian Jedi who's probably going to know like Jedi Jiu Jitsu. Like, you know what I'm <laughs> like give, lie to me, lie to me lie to me and give me something to to hold on to that actually want to pay full price for these trash ass figures it's like they're all out of ideas the ip is dead because they can't make a new character worth a damn so they have to rely on old characters to carry the load but it's like how many darth vaders can you buy right how many obi-wan kenobis can you own right you have old ben you, you can get uh, uh, the three versions from the prequels of Obi-Wan Kenobi. You can get the uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi from that, that TV show, right? You can get that. You can get that. So it's like, what, five versions, four or five versions, right? Cool, 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 cool. How many versions of Darth Vader can there be? What, three? That's it. Anakin, same thing. You get, what, three versions of Anakin, the little kid, the teenager, and then the adult. You can get the Clone Wars versions. With the cartoony versions, I think Hot Toys is doing those right now. They dropped those. It's like, but that's it. This is a franchise so reliant on classic characters in all of its media that because they make shitty new characters, no one cares. No one cares. But yeah, it's a trash, just trashy franchise, trashy characters. I, you know. I, I have no hope for this show. I, I'm not even going to give it a chance. I'm going to wait for my friends to watch it. Whoever wants to victimize themselves first and give us a review. And then maybe, just maybe, I'll watch it. You know, if you want me to watch it just to uh, sit here and crap on it <laughs> on the, on, on the uh, channel, you let me know in the comments. Because I, I think that would be something fun to do. Anyway, with that, please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Let me know, are you into, you still into Star Wars? Do you even care? Have you ever cared? Like, let, let me know. Make sure you check out the community tab. That's where I post any pre-orders, except these. <laughs> and any uh, uh, any uh, restocks or any sales that I come across while browsing the World Wide Web. Also, I'll leave a link to that in the description. Also in the description, check out my Amazon affiliate link. It's pretty awesome, pretty cool. All you have to do is click on the link, go on Amazon, and buy away. And Amazon will pay me a small commission for everything you buy. And it's a great way to support the channel. And it doesn't cost you anything extra. But yeah, with that, be safe, be good. And this is Drunken Prime, cracking open another beer, and signing off.